In this lesson, I want to explain how to create 360 images. This software is very powerful to creating those images. Okay. Going to the, in the Simlabs soft website to introduce this 3D, 360 image degree images. Here you can make 300, 360 degree or grid of them. The nice uh, example is this. You can simply click and drag and uh, <clears throat> move and look at any degree and direction of your scene that you want with click and drag. This is an example of the grid. As you can see, we are in this position. We can with the click and drag and click on these icons or grid to go at that place take two time to look and we go to that place and we can look at in that place or going to this place here this is not grid this is a multi 360 images uh, combined together in a software it's very powerful you can insert as you can as you can see here you can insert in the youtube i will explain that you it's you can <clears throat> import it in your website upload in the website and use it in your website or you can upload in your Facebook or any platform that support 360 images. For making that, for example, I want to uh, put a camera here and uh, render 360 degree from this place, my scene. Going to the this menu, 360 images, <clears throat> the first step is create VR camera. This is a VR camera, this is exactly uh, the main camera but it has an special uh, settings for rendering a VR uh, teleport camera I will explain it when you are in VR we can teleport on a, a camera in a VR the most important thing is this 360 I think unfortunately this is not bug you can see it but uh, you can preview or you can uh, detach I think I don't know what is this but it's a preview okay click and drag you can scale your camera for example this is your view hit click and to snap it here you can change the direction I need more smaller camera here <coughs> you can detach camera yes that view is nice bring it more displays rotate it detach again yes this is this is my view and i want to make 360 degree image here the most important thing is you have to select your uh, camera first if you unselect it if you go to uh, i think it's correct the file yes you can render it not important start rendering oh yes as you can see it's no vr camera selected first you select it okay as I said before, we have to, uh, in 360 render, we have to use its special render, not render menu here. We have a special renderer here. But exactly like before, we have three modes of render, real time, fixed, and fixed to file. I explain them, you can refer to the render menu. But fixed to file, you can uh, specify its settings. You can, for more quality, you can uh, use HDRI or PNG. With this mode, you can use HDR. You can set all lights around that camera and <clears throat> make HDRI. But I selected JPEG, and it's important. You have to select uh, one of these settings for 360. This is and for this render, or you can use it, use those settings. Not important, but it's a better quality here. You can apply denoiser like before SPP. As you can see, it's very high because uh, we need more quality in these images but for fast render i make it in 50 and here you can specify your output folder and start render as you can see it's rendering oh something i forget stop render select the camera again as you can see it's black because in the environment in the previous lesson i disable it i enable the sun and change the direction of the lighting for example in this direction uh, 
render f4 to test the, your lights and everything okay i think that's a nice <clears throat> we have very bright f4 again to test your light okay that's line uh, correct and select your camera again and uh render to file everything is correct and render it and it's rendered like this it is on 360 render <coughs> because it is to file our uh, this is our image size and this is our spp it's reached to the 50 and render ends but if you want to more quality you can rise it to 3000 spp okay and it's going to the finish and done we go to that folder and this is our 360 images you for preview that or upload that i explained how to import it to youtube you can to you can refer to uh, youtube tutorial playlist but here you can preview preview here your image that you render as you can see you can click and drag and use these 360 images it's high quality and nice this software is awesome <clears throat> when we are in this camera you can add animation to that you can make 360 videos look at this video double click to this is a pot player it's the free as you can see if you disable disable the 360 this is a regular video that's go through a apartment here this is hd for 360 videos we have 4k video and you know you see that because why in these settings you can enable 360 video mode and if you play as you can see we can look around as well as we will go through the uh, apartment and it is interesting as you can see this is 360 videos that you can export for example for exporting here we change the amount of the range just because it is very uh, time consuming for rendering that I just rendered in 10, 10 frame and this is our indicator this is we are attaching a camera and we uh, capture a camera uh, K frame here with a right click and drag we zoom a little bit in this direction oh sorry first uh, go your in indicator in glass frame and then right click and drag to move that direction for example and set another keyframe here and if you change the indicator we have a very fast uh, animation here okay <clears throat> and after that we can render it we have an animation going here multiple frames 360 video click on it and the same window will be open and you can change the settings but the setting that we add is render animation frame 0 to 10 it's everything nice and you can start rendering we pause the video to end. okay now it's finished and after that you can create your video as you can see this is uh, video maker of the Synlamp composer everything is like before the main most important thing is here make sure 360 video and create <laughs> and it will be create and that's it that is our frames and this is our video it's a very fast video oops this is a very fast video Don't pause at any time and you can look around this is interesting another frame look another frame Oop. that's frame and you can look around okay so in this way you can make your 360 videos close that <clears throat> another interesting thing in this software is 360 grid 
For making that, you have to insert multi VR camera, for example, multi camera here, another camera there. For example, I want to this area, another camera to this area. Okay, go to the first camera and change its position here. You can attach it to the which direction that you want. That's nice. Make it smaller. Okay. It's in to snap it here. The, the attach the camera to see its angle. Mm. I need to <clears throat> make it more in its ground another camera make it smaller and G press the ground you can change its look go to the camera camera 3 mm, that's nice and another camera behind the wall because I want to explain visible behind the wall <clears throat> behind the wall behind the wall okay g and for example in this view this when you create a camera for example this is on first you can click on this camera go to this view and then you can see that grid behind this behind this wall okay attached to that camera four <coughs> view is nice or if you can bring it here okay you have to select visible behind the wall you can select all of them and tick behind the wall <clears throat> if you want it uh, for example it does not mean you have to do that because for example you have a lot of camera in far away from that and you don't want to see all of them because this is a wall we can go in, in this direction, see the another camera and go in there. Sometimes you're confusing when you create a grid. Okay, it does not mean you have to do that. Okay, first select the first camera that we want to begin with. And here we have can render multiple 360 grid. And as you can see, this is our sitting, everything is correct, and it's rendered three uh, images, 300 images for us. And after that, we have one step to uh, combine them and create a HTML5 file to see it in your website or see that. Or uh, this software has a, you know, HTML5 viewer, you can drop your HTML5 there and or see your HTML5 locally. <laughs> it's a nice software. Okay, pause the video to uh, waiting for finishing it. Okay, it's done and this uh, folder will open. And here we have three camera position that we create 360 from them, their position and this is the camera here okay it's nice and the one step more we have to create uh 360 html5 from that okay select the first camera it's not important and we have to export go into the file and export 3 webgl first in the sitting select a template that you want it's not important i will explain them more but you cast for example this template and then export it <coughs> We call it 360 grid one and export HTML file. Okay, this setting is unit. You can optimize it better. Run a uh, WebGL starter and add OK. And here you have to choose a more important. The, you can you have to choose it here. I will explain the more 3D. You have to choose 360 images and export that check all the scenes because there are our camera and it's okay and export the html file 
with a texture for you. And okay, here we it's automatically open in a local host for you. And this is our grid. This is our first position. And this is another position. You can click to teleport on that position. And this is a po position behind the wall, behind the wall. And you can see it. It's interesting. And we have a file here. Okay, everything is correct. Here we have a HTML file to open local. You can drop your file here. Okay, as you can see, this is our HTML file, which is file here. Okay, and you can upload it in your website or you can click and drag it here to open it locally if you want. This is SimLab Composer HTML5 Viewer. It's interesting. That's it. We explain all of these 360 features in this software. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release